hello and welcome all if you are new to my channel just wanted to give you quick introduction about my channel here i'm making a small attempt to answer the queries which my son asks me and i think it can be useful for others as well so recently my son came up with the question what is a leap year so in this video we will see the definition of the leap year and we will try to find whether a year, year is a leap year or not we by I am using some examples. So let's start with that. So leap year. A leap year is a calendar year containing one additional day. So a normal year contains 365 days. But as leap year has got one extra day. So a leap year has 366 days instead of 365 days. So where that one extra day goes. So that one extra day gets added in the month of February. So in a leap year February month has got 29 days. Leap year occurs in years which are multiple of 4. The, so example of those years are like 2004, 2008, 2012 and so on. But the exception in this case are centennial years. So centennial years are the century years. The centennial year which gets divided by 400 are considered as leap year. So these that was the definition. So now let's look at some example of the leap year or not a leap year. How we will identify so let's start so we will take here the first year 1984 we don't have to divide the whole year we will just take the last two digit so we will divide 84 by 4 so we are getting 21 which is an integer so it's a leap year now let's look another example of year 2018 so here again we will take the last two digit 18 and if we divide 18 by 4 so we are not getting an integer number so it's not a leap year so in the no case of a normal year if the number gets divided by 4 completely and we get integer as a result then the year is a leap year but if it, we are not getting integer number by dividing the number from 4 by 4 then it's not a leap year so now let's let's look at the example of centennial year century years so we will take 2200 so 2200 because it's a century year we will divide it by 400 when we have divided it by 400 we got not an integer number 5.5 so it's not a leap year now let's look at 2000 so 2000 is a century year so we divided it by 400 and we got 5 it's an integer number so it's a leap year so in case of century year we will divide it by 400 and if we are getting integer number as a result then it will be leap year and if you are not getting integer then it's not a leap year okay so dear friends here were the some example through which i tried to explain how we can identify whether a year is a leap year or not if you find this information helpful please like this video and share this video with your friends and family and if you have any question or suggestions on which you want me to make video please add that in comment section and please subscribe to this channel it's free and thanks for the watching this video.